Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to be comparing the cameras of the Motorola Zoom to the iPad 2. Let's go ahead and take a look at the controls of the iPad, and we'll then look at the controls of the Zoom. Let's go ahead and unlock this. Pretty simple, we have a camera app. There are some other apps available. We have FaceTime, things we can do with it. Let's go ahead and open the camera app. Very simple controls. We have the camera picture button. We can tap to focus and we can zoom in digitally and as you can see it gets very grainy there we can switch to the video camera by tapping there or sliding the slider we want to record we hit the record button if we want to switch to the forward facing camera we simply tap that button and as you can see there's the camera we're using uh, inside our little box here that's pretty much it as far as controls uh, we do have a button here to switch uh, let's take a couple pictures takes very fast pictures. Uh, let's go ahead and swap. We have some options to slide through all our pictures. We also have an option to send to the Apple TV. We also have the option to email, print, copy photo, etc. or go into a slideshow. We can also trash the photo by hitting here, delete, and that's that. Pretty simple. That's that's pretty much it as far as our, our options are concerned on the iPad 2. Let's go ahead and shut that off and swap to the Motorola Zoom. Here is the Zoom. Turn it on. Unlock it. And to go into our camera app, I've put it on the home page or the desktop or whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and open that. And as you can see, we've, we're looking at the forward facing camera and we have auto white balance here. You can set it to a bunch of different settings. We also have some different effects and some tools for exposure, picture size, quality, etc. If we want to switch the cameras, we can do that. We can record video on either or. So now we're recording from behind here. There is no tap to focus or anything. However, uh, we do have a lot of different options. So we have flash options because this does have a flash on the back here. You can see there's our 5 megapixel camera with flash, dual LED flash. Uh, we also have the white balance, we have effects, we have a bunch of different options for uh, auto set settings for landscape, that sort of thing. And we again we have exposure and picture size and quality. If we want to take a picture, we simply take a picture. Let's uh, zoom out here. This is our zoom button. We can zoom in, zoom out. And there's the iPad 2 behind it. It auto focuses and snaps a picture. We're pretty close to it, so you're going to see there's the corner. Takes the picture. We want to take a video. Again, same thing. We switch this over to video. It will take a video in HD. See, that's one I recorded before. If we want to go here, we also have some options. There's all of our videos. We can tap on here. We can play it. We can share it to Picasa, Bluetooth, or Gmail. And we also have some other options for detail and a little different editing options. We can also trash this as well. Confirm delete. It deletes it. Pretty simple options, very nice. Again, forward-facing camera, and uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and see what they can do well, they're actually taking pictures and see how they compare. We're recording with the Motorola Zoom in HD. We'll go ahead and look around. The snow is mostly melted here in my backyard. Let's go ahead and pan down and see how it handles focusing. There is no tap to focus on this camera. And there we have the video from the Motorola Zoom. Let's move on to the iPad 2. We're now recording with the iPad 2 in its 720p mode. Same spot as with the zoom. 
Let's go ahead and move down. Tap to refocus on the iPad 2. And there we have the iPad 2. Now I'm holding the iPad 2 using the forward-facing camera just to give you an idea what it looks like. Uh, there is a couple things to note on the iPad 2. When taking a photo, it's difficult holding it in landscape because you have to hit the button in the middle of the screen to take a picture while on the zoom it's right by your thumb on the right hand side so something Apple should take a look at. Anyway let's go ahead and move on to the zoom and see how it compares with its forward facing camera. Now we're recording from the Motorola zoom and as you can see I'm in the same spot and we're using its forward facing camera. The controls are much nice on the zoom like I mentioned before the everything is right to my right hand thumb while I'm holding the zoom upright so makes it much easier to actually take a picture or take video there you have the different images and photos I've taken and taken some video pretty dramatic difference between the zoom and the iPad 2 the iPad 2 is much better with video for some reason uh, than it is with its still images which has been noted in some other uh, different blogs and reviews and things like that it's pretty amazing the difference honestly well, let's go back home here pretty amazing the difference between the two cameras let me know what you think about that I'd like to hear if the camera is a big factor for you because for me it wasn't yes you can do FaceTime and some things like that and it's nice and convenient however I really don't care about the camera I care more about the speed and what it can do and its design uh, if the camera is a huge consideration, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. And you know, if you'd take take the zoom, obvi obviously for the camera, or if it's more speed and that sort of thing. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe, like, thumbs up button. I always appreciate that. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.